Hi, welcome. In this video, we will solve the following problem. We are given that x takes value minus 1, 0, 1 with probability 1 third each. What about y equal to x square? So notice that y takes value either 0 or 1. y will take value 0 with probability 1 third because it will take value 0 when x takes value 0. So 0 with probability 1 third and it will take value 1 when x takes value either 1 or minus 1 okay, because square of minus 1 and 1 is both 1 so that's going to be 1 third plus 1 third that's equal to 2 third okay, so that's y so in order to find whether x and y are correlated or not we are going to find covariance of x and y so what is covariance of x and y covariance of x and y is expectation of x y minus expectation of x times expectation of y well, which is equal to expectation of x times x square which is x cubed because y is x square minus expected value of x times expected value of x square notice that x cube is same as x because whenever x takes value a then x cube will also take value a so when x takes value minus 1 x cube will be minus 1 when x takes value 0 x cube will be 0 and when x takes value 1 x cube will also be 1 so x cube and x are the same random variable so this is so if you want to find expectation of x that's easy because expectation of x is minus 1 times 1 third plus 0 times 1 third plus 1 times 1 third and that's 0 so we ought to get 0 so this is 0 and this is 0, so 0 minus 0 times anything is 0, so this is 0 and we have found that covariance of x and y is 0. Since covariance of x and y is 0, so x and y are uncorrelated. Now let us check for their independence. y equals x squared, okay, so let's, let's, let's find the probability that y equals 0 and x equals equals 1. Notice that when x is 1, y can never be 0. So probability of this event is 0. So what about probability that y equals 0? We already know that that's 1 third and probability that x equals 1 is also 1 third. So probability that y equals 0 times probability that x equals 1 is 1 by 9 and that's not equal to the probability of y equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Therefore, these random variables x and y are not independent. The idea here is this that the value of y is highly dependent on the value of x. When x takes value 0, y definitely takes value 0 and when x takes value minus 1 and 1, y will take value so the distribution of y depends on the value that x takes. So therefore x and y cannot be independent. This is a very nice example where we have found a situation where x and y are uncorrelated but they are dependent.